Welcome to Lemoy Field on the campus of Post University for the 2019 CACC Men's Soccer Championship Final featuring the second-seeded Post University Eagles taking on the fifth-seeded Georgian Court University Lions. Good morning, everyone. I am Doug DeBias. Glad to have you joining us here today on the CACC Network. A little breakfast with the CACC. First of two soccer championship finals here today on the network. Following this will be the women's soccer championship final between Jefferson and Georgian Court. But first, we got the men's final here starting at 10 a.m. Post the defending conference champion, Eagles currently ranked ninth in the NCAA Division II Super Regional Poll, combining the East and Atlantic regions. Those rankings, rankings are used to determine the seedings and the brackets for next weekend's 2019 NCAA Division II Super Regional Tournament. Georgian Court currently unranked, so the Lions today need a win to lock up the league's automatic bid to get into the NCAA Tournament. Post uh, use, could use a win as well here today, not just to raise the conference championship crown, but also to assure themselves in their number nine spot today. A loss may not guarantee them even and at large berth. So a big match today for both sides playing for their seasons to continue and also host uh, the right to host a hoist a CACC championship trophy. These teams are meeting in the conference championship final for the second time in the last four seasons. They last met back in the 2016 final. That was won by Georgian Court in penalty kicks. And Georgian Court locking up the CACC crown that season. That was just the program's fourth season at the varsity level of playing men's soccer. So Dino Rosso and his program in just a short amount of time have done a lot of great things here in the CACC. Last year they were here at Lemoy Field, came up just short in the semifinals. And then this year again in the CACC championship final. For post, the Eagles defeated Wilmington last season in the conference championship final here at Lemoy Field. Post entering today following a 2-1 win over third-seeded Holy Family in the semifinals on Friday. Philemon Bedard Khalid scoring twice in the first half to give Post a 2-0 lead at the break. Holy Family struggled throughout the first half as this was a, as the semifinals was a, a new experience for that program and the, and the players on that roster but then the Tigers settled down in the second half and played much better and trimmed the deficit to one midway through the second half but Post was able to hang on for the 2-1 win. Georgian Court with a second straight upset in the semifinals. The Lions knocking off top seed and regular season champion Wilmington by a count of 4-2 and that followed a quarterfinal matchup where the fifth-seeded Lions tied fourth-seeded Goldie Beacom on the road. They finished in a 4-4 tie through two overtimes. Georgia Court was able to advance via a 6-5 edge in penalty kicks. So the Lions pulling off a couple upsets here to make it to Championship Sunday here in the CACC. We're going to step aside. We'll be back with the introduction of the lineups, followed by the national anthem and the opening kick. Back. For more with the 2019 CACC Men's Soccer Championship Final, live here on the CACC Network.
enthusiastically support your team. However, please refrain from using profanity, racial, ethnic, or sexual comments, or any other inappropriate behavior, including the consumption or possession of alcohol and tobacco, because it will not be tolerated and is grounds for removal from this event. Thank you for your support and enjoy the game. Good morning and welcome to Lemoy Field for our Central Atlantic Collegiate Conference Men's Soccer Championship between the fifth seed Georgian Court Lions and the number two seed Post University Eagles. Now for the starting lineups. First, for Georgian Court. A sophomore from Hanover, Germany. Number five, Nicholas Langer. A senior from Lacey, New Jersey, number seven, Robert Beal. A senior from Toronto, Ontario, number eight, Christian Castiano. A junior from Lancaster, UK, number 10, Tom Arden. A sophomore from Damodossola, Italy, number 14, Giovanni Gioca Vassino. A sophomore from North Plainfield, New Jersey, number 17, Francisco Corral. A senior from Stratford, Connecticut, number 20, Javel Dawkins. A junior from Spotsy, New Jersey, number 22, Nicholas Moran. A senior from Kearney, New Jersey, number 33, Daniel Vicente. A sophomore from Parma, Italy, number 45, Tommaso Leo. And at goal, a junior from Dublin, Ireland, number zero, Jamie Hickley. The Lions are coached by Dino Rosso, whose assistants are Ronnie Fitzpatrick, John Adair, Elliot Baldwin, Steve Montanio, and Dara O'Day. Now the starting lineup for the post-university Eagles. A junior from Madrid, Spain, number three, Alvaro Sanchez. A junior from Milan, Italy, number five, Matteo Gagliardo. A senior from Hafa, Israel, number six, Aden Gendler. A sophomore from Madrid, Spain, number eight, Sergio Sanchez. A sophomore from Miami, Florida, number nine, Philemon Badar Khalid. A junior from Madrid, Spain, number 10, Sergio Diaz. A freshman from Hafa, Israel, number 15, Antoine Trifonov. A junior from Castellamar, Gustavia, Italy, number 22, Andrea Valletto. A sophomore from Lasis, Italy, number 24, Francesco Perianelli. A freshman from Allen Gas, Sweden, number 99, Felix Hertness. And that goal, a sophomore from Danbury, Connecticut, number one, David Malentio. The Eagles are coached by Ted Haley. His assistants are Luis Figueroa, Ryan Dunnigan, Christoph Fiesick, Enzo Pereira, Al Reed, and Gabe Dozier. And now, if I could everyone rise for the playing of our national anthem, sung by Christina Billings, Director of Career Services at Post University. Oh, say can you see by the dawns of light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming through the stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets around the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that a flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Starting lineups introduced, National Anthem performed. Lovely rendition there. Getting set now for opening kick of the 2019 CACC Men's Soccer Championship Final. As we mentioned, Post with a 2-1 win over third-seeded Holy Family in Friday's semifinals. Those were down at Municipal Stadium in downtown Waterbury. Georgian Court 
pulling off a pair of upsets to make it here to Championship Sunday. Lions knocked off top seed and regular season champion Wilmington University 4-2. to two. And that was a wild second half in that match. Georgia Court took a 2-0 lead. And Wilmington got a goal midway through the second half. Cut the deficit to 2-1. And then momentum was on Wilmington's side. Had a couple good scoring chances. However, a fantastic individual play. A charge down the near sideline, the right sideline, by Joel Quist for Georgian Court. And he was able to feed a nice crossing pass to Nicholas Moran, who all he had to do was chip it in to make it 3-1. That stemmed the tide there, and that got the momentum back to Georgian Court. They were able to score again a few minutes later to make it 4-1, and they hung on for the 4-2 win over Wilmington. We'll have to see the rankings and the seeds and the brackets will be coming out here in the next 24 hours, we'll see Wilmington makes it as an at-large. we expecting the Wildcats, too. They were see, they were ranked fourth in the latest NCAA Division II Super Regional Rankings, but we'll have to see. As we mentioned, Post currently ninth in the Super Region Rankings. Don't think the Eagles want to take a chance on trying to get in as an at-large. So close to the, the top ten rankings that are there, a win today would solidify their spot, earning the league's automatic bid. And for Georgian Court, Lions currently not ranked in the Super Region ranking, so they need this one today not just to hoist the CACC crown, but to make it into the regionals. Georgian Court looking for its second conference title in the last four seasons. Post looking to make it back-to-back -back years. Post playing in the NCAA Division II regional tournament last year. And for Georgian Court, if they were to win this today, they would then earn the program's first ever bid to the NCAA Division II regional tournament. Georgia Court won it back in 2016. Automatic bid was not uh, it, with, at, with the CACC at that time. Georgia Court was not able to get into the, the final rankings to get into the regional. So uh, a lot of history being played today, not just for Georgia Court to win another conference title, but to make it to the NCAAs for the first time in program history. Two of the more highly successful programs here in the conference, and we are now underway. Eden Gemler gets that blocked. He was trying to get it up field there. Georgian Court hems post in. Lions possession there in the far corner. Felix Herquist with it. Able to get it out of some danger. Post looks to reverse field. Throw in coming up here for Georgian Court. Let's see Philemon Bedard Khalid, number nine for post. Scored both of Post's markers in the 2-1 win over Holy Family on Friday. Throw in for Post. Oh, and still once again. Actually throwing now for Georgian Court. Nelly with it, gets it over to Bodar Khalid. Couldn't control that. Was able to save it before going out.
Temperatures in the mid to upper 20s right now. So only supposed to get into the low 40s, if that today. So a chilly day here. Free kick coming up for post. Score! Post! Eagles! Goal scored by number 24, Francesco Perinelli. Cicero play by number 10, Sergio Diaz. Francesco Perinelli with the goal. And Post with the early 1-0 lead over Georgian Court. Just inside of five minutes, that goal was scored at the start of regulation. Yellow card to Daniel Vicente. Apologize for the technical difficulty with the clock. You're watching on the graphic at the top of the screen there. We'll try to get that fixed, but we'll keep you updated with time remaining here in the half. 39 minutes left to go, first half. 1 0 post with the goal by Francesco Perianelli. Scoring in the fifth minute. Goal kick coming up here. For post, David Malenthal. Take it. All CACC goalkeeper here for the Eagles this season. Court able to keep it in. And Nelly tripped up. Play continues. Bedard Khalid taken down. Dawkins sends it back over onto post side of the field. Sergio Diaz with it right now on his foot. Diaz, the 2018 CACC Player of the Year. Had a pair of goals in the win for post in the quarterfinals on Monday. The win over Dominican. Alvaro Sanchez 
Tries to corral that. He can't. Nicholas Langer heads that back to his keeper, Jamie Hickey, and then he slides it back to Langer. Daniel Vicente. Javel Dawkins with it now. Tom Ardron couldn't connect there. Post with possession now. And a whistle and a foul on Georgian Court. Robert Beal. 36-41 and counting left to go here in the first half. Marianelli intercepts that. And taken away, though, by Sioka Vecino. Rio hauled down. No whistle. Diaz to Perianelli. Perianelli heads it deep into Georgian Court. Hickey up with it, though. Inside 36 minutes remaining here in the first half, just underway. Post with the 1 0 lead over Georgian Court. The goal by Francesco Perianelli in the fifth minute. chippiness and words between both sides here so far so officials quickly trying to nip that cleared out by Perianelli Sente heads it back in on the post side of the field is Sergio Sanchez Rio tries to chase it down. Gendler able to send it out. Throw in for George in court. Offsides. Thirty-four minutes counting left to go first half. with the header. Balioto able to send it in deep. Alvaro Sanchez and a wall off Dawkins. Keep possession for post. He's able to slide it back to Sergio Diaz. Hickey comes out for that. Ardron hemmed in there by Trifonov. Ball sent out, throw in for post. Whistle and a foul on Georgian Court.
Mateo Gagliardo to take this free kick. For post. Lobs it in to Bedard Khalid. Trying to work his way around Christian Cassiano. Can't do it. Throw in coming up for Georgian Court. Cassiano to take it. Throws it right to Bedard Khalid. Post again with possession. Trifonov loses it. Sent to the ground. Ardron with it now for Georgian Court. However, intercepted by Gendler. Whistle on Georgian Court. Approaching 31 and a half minutes remaining. First half. Langer sends that out. Avoiding any crossing attempt there. Headed wide. Diaz with the header. Hickey now to take goal kick for Georgian Court. Despite the two goals on Friday, the Hickey allowed, played. Very well in net for Georgian Court. Made a couple really strong saves and helped to keep a an explosive Wilmington offense an attack at bay for the most part. Georgian Court played very well in that match to get that win. Free kick coming up here for Post Diaz to take it. Talking with Bedard Khalid. Approaching 29 and a half minutes remaining. Clock ticking here in the first half. Hickey! Lost the handle on it initially, but able to scoop it up before any potential rebound attempt there. So another impressive scoring chance there for Post. Ball headed about around midfield. Bedard Khalid sent to the turf. Official stops the clock, wants to talk with Cassiano. He's getting the warning. 28-29 left in the first half. Clock stopped for that warning. And back underway here. Gagliardo to take the throw in for post. Perrianelli with the marker in the fifth minute. And that's how we stand at 1-0 right now in favor of post, the second seeded Eagles. Trying to win their second consecutive CACC championship. And for Georgian Court, trying to win its second conference title in the last four seasons. First time since 2016 is what they're shooting for today. And that year, they won in penalty kicks in the final over the same post Eagles that they're playing today. Yeah. 
Sente taken down. And Langer defending his teammate. Tempers flaring right now. Been chippy here in the early going, the opening 17-plus minutes of this contest. See if... See if Vincente can get up under his own power. It doesn't look like it right now. And this would be a big loss for Georgian Court if he cannot continue because he played so well in Friday's semifinal. Georgian Court's lone representative on the all CHCC team this year. Scored that opening goal against Wilmington on Friday in the first half. And that got things rolling for the Lions. And he's able to get up, and he's he's favoring. Not sure which which leg it is, but Langer was Nicholas Langer, who also played very well on the back line in Friday's win over Wilmington, doing a really nice job against the CACC Player of the Year, Lauren Bickley. So he doesn't get a red card. Wondered if he maybe would have gotten one, but doesn't get one there, so he's still in the match. So Georgian Core keeps its two big backline defenders in there. That's going to be big for the Lions here the rest of this match. We'll see how Vicente handles being a having that hard takedown. Baliotto with it. Looks to get it up to Bedard Khalid. He's able to get some space. Sends it far side over to Herquist. Throw in coming up here for post. Thank you. 26 and a half minutes left here in the opening frame. The 2019 CACC Men's Soccer Championship final. One sent towards the net. Sente able to get it out of harm's way for the moment. Georgia Court looks to reverse field here. Ardron taken down by Sanchez. Sanchez can't connect with anybody. Vincente, however, intercepted there by Sergio Sanchez. But now possession back to Georgian Court. Trifonov able to bump Ardron off of it, but the throw in coming up for Georgian Court. to Dawkins. He's hemmed in, though, by a pair of post defenders. Trifonov comes out with it for post. Taken down. Foul on Sioka Vecino. And Matteo Gagliardo to take this free kick for post. Diaz just sends it back to Baliotto. Baliotto across to Gendler. Gagliardo up to Perianelli. Perianelli hounded there by Cassiano. Taken down. No whistle. Cassiano comes out with it. That's intercepted by Baliotto. Nice move there by Baliotto. Diaz with it. His shot high. Through the uprights for a field goal, but doesn't count in this sport. 24-15 and counting left to go first half. 
One nil post. Perianelli with the tally in the fifth minute. If you just joined us late. Post controlling the pace of play for the most part here in this opening half. Had a couple other nice scoring chances as well. Sending a header wide earlier by Diaz. And that opportunity there just sent it high. Langer tried to clear that and missed it. Diaz with it over to Sanchez. Tricord able to come out with it. And they reverse it back to post side of the field. Tommaso Rio tracks that down. Creates some space for himself. Gets it over to Dawkins. Ardron with it now. Picked up there by Sanchez. Slides it over. To Corral. Corral tries to send it in. Headed out, though, by Gagliardo. Already called Gagliardo's name a bunch here this morning. These teams playing on Lemoy Field for the, the first time this weekend. The men's semis were over at Ray Snyder Field at Municipal Stadium in downtown Waterbury on Friday. The women's semis were here at Lemoy. They'll be playing next here on the CACC Network at 1 p.m. It'll be between the top two seeds, number one, Jefferson, and number two, Georgian Court. Midway point of the first half, just under 22 and a half minutes remain. Gagliardo sends it towards the net. Cassiano, or excuse me, Corral, I beg your pardon. Corral comes up with that. Georgia Court loses possession initially. Hickey with it. Nelly able to keep it in initially, but Vicente with it. He's going to send it wide. Herquist able to come up with it for post. Nice through ball there to Diaz. Throw in coming up for post. Felix Herquist, the, one of the many talented freshmen in the conference this season. Called his name a lot on Friday. Hickey comes out to play that. Just under 21 minutes remaining here in the first half. Whistle on Georgian court. Hurt was whistled. Tried to feed a pass through, but could not connect with anybody. Substitution here for Georgian Court. Luis Silva coming on for Tom Ardren. Joel Quist soon to check in for Georgian Court. He made quite the difference. Coming on in a reserve role on Friday. Goal and an assist in that 4-2 win over Wilmington. In fact, his individual effort to work down the right sideline. Make a really nice one-on-one -on -one move past a Wilmington defender. Was able to just send over a 
nifty crossing pass that all Nicholas Moran had to do was chip it in. That made it 3-1 at the time and wrestled back the momentum that Wilmington had been starting to build after the Wildcats had cut the deficit to 2-1. Quist had scored early in the second half to make it 2-0 at the time, Georgian Court. Throw in for post. Rio tried to get through there, but a whistle on post. Approaching the 18 and a half minute mark, time remaining. Nifty footwork there by Silva, tries to get around Gagliardo. Excuse me, Sergio Sanchez, I beg your pardon. Official with a yellow to Corral, and then he just bumped the official and the red card to Corral. 18-14 left to go first half, and the red card to Francisco Corral. Initially got the yellow for the takedown, and then bumped the official, and so then the red card out to Corral, and he is done for today. And Georgian Court will be playing a man down the rest of this match. So free kick coming up here, red card to Francisco Corral, the sophomore from North Plainfield, New Jersey. So Post already with a 1-0 lead. They're going to be a man up here the rest of this contest. Bedard, Khalid, able to control that. Gets it back to Gagliardo. Gagliardo back to Bedard, Khalid. Now Perrinelli. Feeds it down to Diaz. A little bit of space. Looked over by Dawkins, though. Whistle on post. Approaching the 17 minute mark, time remaining, first half. Fans stick around at halftime, we'll bring you the halftime stats. Followed by a couple messages from both the NCAA and the CACC. We'll recap the first half. And then following the match, stick around for the post-championship award ceremony as we recognize the MVP, the all-tournament team, the individuals on this year's championship team. As the champion will raise the CACC trophy and banner and then stick around after that. And then we got the women's championship final. Over on the women's side, Chalk is held firm throughout both the quarterfinals and semifinals with the higher seeded teams winning each match. In fact, every match so far, the six matches here in this, in the women's championship tournament, they've all been shutout victories for the higher seed. 
And on the men's side, three of the top four seeds won in the quarterfinals. Georgia Core was the only lower seeded team to advance, and they didn't just do that in the quarters. As we mentioned, they took down regular season champion Wilmington on Friday. Sanchez sent down. Approaching the final third, 15 minutes left here, the first half, final third of the half. what in impact Joel Quist has now for Georgian Court, as we mentioned. Was outstanding on Friday in that reserve role. See if he can provide that spark that Georgian Court needs after falling behind early 1-0 and then having to play a man down the rest of this way after Francisco Corral with the red card just a few moments ago. Dawkins tries to get around Trifonov. Throw in for Georgian Court coming up. Michael Tapp coming on for Cassiano. Marco Ballerin to take the throw in for the Lions. Gets it over to Robert Beal. He sends it back to Vicente, Daniel Vicente. Second team all CACC performer for Georgia Court this year. Malenthio comes out for that. Gagliardo controls it, gets it up to Bedard Khalid. Approaching the 13-minute mark, time remaining first half. Try to get that running clock back up on the graphic for you here in the second half. We apologize for that technical difficulty. Chilly day here in Waterbury, Connecticut. Temperatures in the upper 20s, maybe pushing low 30s right now. Saved by Hickey. Oh, what a fantastic save there of a point-blank shot by Bedard Khalid. Able to just get a hand on it and deflect it away. And temperature is very chilly here today, as we mentioned. May get up into the upper 40s in the early afternoon. Cold weather playing havoc with our equipment right now. Sanchez, crossing pass, finds no one. Tap, able to send it out. Near midfield, past the strike now. Hey, go, 
Trifanov sends it long. However, Ballerin able to pick that off, but Bedard Khalid up with it. His shot off the post. Oh, just came about a foot from sending that upper left corner, which would have been a beauty. Lord Kali smiling a little bit, knowing the opportunity he had right there. Just under 10 and a half minutes remaining first half. Ballerin hauled down by Bedard Khalid. Bedard Khalid tried to save that throw in coming up for Georgian Court. Silva gets it from Dawkins. Picked up there by a host of post defenders. Able to get it wide, can Quist track it down? Trying to wall off Herquist. Then get by Herquist. He gets taken down. Same last touch there by Georgian Courts. Kick coming up here for Malenthio. Now under 10 minutes, 9 18 and counting. Left to go, first half. Trifanoff tried to head that upfield. However, sent back by Georgian Court. Chip in. Vicente able to collect that for the Lions. However, Diaz intercepts that. Edward tried to get in possession of that four post. Battling there with Tap. Tap able to win that initially. Diaz with it now. Gets around Langer. Fires a shot blocked by Vicente. Eight fifteen and counting left first half. Gagliardo up to Bedard Khalid with some space in the center of the field. He's going to send it back to Herquist. Sends it over to Gendler. Gendler bringing it up. He's going to send it long. Can he get it to Bedward? Can Langer able to hold him off? Throw in for the Lions. Nicholas Langer, 6'5", providing a large presence there on the back line for the Lions. Both he and Vicente doing a fantastic job on Friday and that win over Wilmington. Keeping CACC Player of the Year, Lauren Bickley at bay. And that is no small task considering Bickley leads not just the CACC but NCAA Division II in goals this season with 24. Six and a half minutes left, first half. Clock ticking. In case you joined us late, post scoring in the fifth minute. Francesco Perianelli with the marker. And that's where we stand. Georgia Court playing a man down the rest of this match after Francisco Corral is tagged with a red card. First a yellow, then a red. Or bumping the referee. A little more than 18 minutes remaining in the first half. 
And that is the task and the challenge ahead here for Georgia Court the rest of the way. Try to overcome this early deficit and work its way around playing a man down. 540 and counting. Trifonov sends it over to Bedard Khalid. Felix Herquist with it. Bedard Khalid tried to slide it over to Diaz, couldn't. Langer able to get it out of danger. Luis Silva with it now for Georgia Court. He loses it. And Gendler is able to get it up to Sergio Sanchez and slides it over to Gagliardo, but they're going to send it back. Eden Gendler. Gendler surveys the situation. He's going to send it long. And can't connect with anybody there. Tried to get it to Bedward over in that far corner. Could not, though. Throw in coming up for Georgian Court. 4.15 and counting. That's all that remains here in this opening half. Just a reminder, stick around at halftime. Bring you the halftime statistics. Bring you a couple special messages from both the NCAA Division II and the Central Atlantic Collegiate Conference. Clock is stopped with 3.51 remaining. Referee talking with both Joel Quist of Georgian Court and Antoine Trifonov of Post. And play resumes, thrown from Georgian Court. Lentfield <laughs> sends it back towards the midfield circle. Bedward tracks it down. Whistle. And the clock stops once again with 3.20 and a yellow card to Kashane Bedward, number 27. Hauled down Giovanni Sioka Vecino. So free kick here coming up for Georgian Court. Silva will take it for the Lions. Sent in deep, though, but a whistle on Georgian Court and Langer down. I believe that's Nicholas Langer. Langer sent. Hard to the turf there, holding his head. <clears throat> Up under his own power, walking it off.
Play resumes, three minutes left here in the first half. Ballerin taken down, no whistle, play continues. Diaz controls it, gets it up to Bedard Khalid. Picked up there by Ballerin, but back to Diaz. He'll just send it back to Gagliardo. I'll post an opportunity to set up and build something. Two and a half minutes, clock ticking, first half. Quist tries to control that. Balioto. And throw in for Georgian Court. Michael Tapp to take that for the Lions. Tapp the senior from Beachwood, New Jersey. One the old slides that up to Hurtquist. 143 and clock ticking here in the first half. It's all that remains until halftime. Gagliardo sends it long for Bedouard. Vicente able to send that back to Hickey. Jamie Hickey sends it up. However, Bedard Khalid there to intercept. Navarro Sanchez slides it over to Diaz. Looked over there by Ballerin's gonna send it back to Sergio Sanchez. So Diaz, see if he can make a move here. Gets it to Bedouard. Hemmed in the near corner there. Approaching one minute left here in the first half. Shot sent towards the net. Langer blocks it out. One minute remaining in the first half. One minute. Trifonov with it. Gets a little bit of space. Tried to slide it up. Nobody there. Langer able to wall off Bedard Khalid. Throw in coming up for Georgian Court. 40 seconds and counting left in the first half. Throw in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Your score at halftime. Post one, that will do it for the first half. 1-0, Post leads it over Georgian Court. We will step aside for a commercial break, and we'll be back with more after this on the CACC Network.
Welcome back. Getting ready for the start of the second half. And second half now underway. We were mentioning earlier about Georgia Court defeating Post in the 2016 championship final. This is also the second year in a row these teams have met in the postseason. Post defeating Georgian Court in the semis last year here at Lemoy Field. These teams with a playoff history meeting for the third time in the last four seasons here in the postseason. Despite Post owning a large majority of play in the first half, Georgia Court finds itself down just 1-0. So all it takes is one here for Georgia Court to knot this match up at one all. Lions have some offensive skill up front. Evidenced by the eight total goals that they have scored here in the postseason so far. Ballerin with it, tries to get it up to Silva. Georgian Court. A more aggressive team here in this opening 90 seconds. Have to push the envelope here in this second half, try to get that equalizer. Bedard Khalid with it. We'll keep you updated with the time remaining. Just under 43 minutes. Two minutes gone by here in the second half. Whistle on Georgian Court. Just a reminder, fans, stick around following the match. We'll bring you the post-championship award ceremony. Silva with it. Can he get a shot off? Tried to work his way around Gendler. Malenthio out for that one with the save. Langer tried to get up by Diaz. Cut off there. Sergio Sanchez with it, but he sends it to no one. Throw in for Georgian Court. Michael Taff will take it for the Lions. <laughs> Langer. Thought he had someone there, just sent it out. Throw in coming up for post. Sergio Sanchez to take it for the Eagles. 41-21 and counting. Left to go in the regulation. Perquist with it. Sends it back to Eden Gendler. Gendler going to send it long. Diaz there with it. it over to Scarpecci. They're just going to send it back to Balioto and then over to Herquist. Post will try to reset. However, Tap with it. Gets it. Uh, tried to get it to Silva. A little bit too long and Malenthio had to come out for it. This 
So it took a half for Georgian Court to find its bearings, but playing much better here in the opening five minutes here of the second half. Thirty-nine and a half minutes. Clock ticking here in the second half. Vicente. Diaz with it on the near sideline. Sends it over to Bedard Khalid. Alvaro Sanchez with it. Tries to work his way around Langer. Gets it over to Diaz. Balioto sends it back over to Herquist. Slides it up to Scarpecci. And a throw in coming up for Georgian Court. And a corner kick coming up here now for Georgian Court. Luis Silva to take it. So with 37 and a half minutes remaining in regulation, big opportunity here for Georgian Court. Sanchez able to send that back out, get it out of danger initially. Now Diaz has it here on the near side. Try to work around Langer. Slips it over, a nifty little play there to Bedard Khalid. Rio able to cut that off. Just under 37 minutes remaining. Clock ticking here in regulation. Chip toward the net, header. Hickey comes out with it. He's going to get it up to Rio. Taken down by Sanchez. Langer slides it back to... Vicente, Vicente going to send it up to Silva. 23 for 16. Lucas Shad with the throw in for Georgian Court. Langer, that one <laughs> sails wide left. Substitution for post. 
Tony Paolini checking in for Scarpecci. Approaching the 35 minute mark, time remaining here in regulation. Gendler up to Sergio Sanchez. Hickey comes out for that. Slides it up to Beal. Beal lost it though. Alioto tries to control it. Gendler sent it up towards the midfield stripe there. Intercepted by Langer. Dard Khalid with it, tries to get some space. Gonna send it near side to Diaz. Hickey avoids the oncoming Alvaro Sanchez, able to play that and get it up to Georgian Court as they look to reverse field. Sanchez he connect there was trying to get it to Diaz we mentioned Diaz the 2018 CACC player of the year of course Lauren Bickley winning those honors this year however Diaz still first team all CACC in 2019 Aro Sanchez, far side there, gets it to Bedard Khalid. He's just going to send it back. Sente able to head it back out near the midfield line. Trifanov loses that. Georgian Court reverses. Silva trying to track it down, but... Balioto able to tried to keep it away. However, throw in coming up for Georgian Court. <laughs> Tap to take the throw in. And Javel Dawkins coming back into the match for Georgian Court. He will replace Shad. Thirty-one, thirteen, and counting. That's the time remaining left in regulation. Malentio came out for it. Couldn't collect it the first time. Had to make a second dive there just to collect the ball. Rolls it up to Gagliardo. Gagliardo. Paolini working with Diaz there. Diaz now going back to the center of the field. Gets a shot off save by Hickey. Sends 
it up beyond the midfield line. Trifonov able to head it, but Post just needs to reset. Herquist up to Diaz. Diaz to Paolini. He's going to go to the far side to Bedard Khalid. Blocked away there by Ballerin. Nine and a half minutes remaining. Clock ticking. Headed back in by Trifonov. Langer taken down. Kick coming up for Georgian Court. Whistle on Georgian Court. Beal gets whistled there for the takedown. Approaching 28 and a half minutes remaining. Aliotto lines it up to Bedard Kali, gets it to Paolini, now over to Diaz. Diaz far side to Sanchez. Sanchez in front, however, sent up high by Vicente. The court looks to control. Rowan coming up for Georgian Court. Just under 27 minutes left. Tap to take the throw in. Throw in now for post. with the throw in. Tom Ardron checking back into the match now for Georgian Court. Michael Tapp to take the throw in for the Lions. Headed towards the net by Langer. Nifty little play there. Malentio able to come up with the save. 
We're nearing the midway point of the second half. No more than 25 minutes remain. Dawkins gets it over to Silva. Silva shot score. However, calling it offsides. Referee's whistle there initially. I drowned out a little bit by some of the fans across the side that were cheering. Good good contingent of Georgian court fans here at Lemoy Field. Of course, it's a doubleheader day for Georgian court. Women playing in the women's final coming up next against Jefferson. A little bit of a, a late whistle there on the offsides. And the Georgian court bench asking for some clarification there, but... It remains 1-0 post. Throw in, excuse me, kick coming up here for Georgian Court. Ardrin to take it. Now under 24 minutes left in regulation. Clock ticking. Sanchez sends it out. Now Diaz with it. Diaz plays it to an open spot on the field. Avaro Sanchez now back to Diaz. Dard Khalid and Dawkins going after it. Take down there. Yellow issued to Javel Dawkins. 23-23 left on the clock. Clock has stopped for the issue of the yellow card. The opening stages of this match. Chippy for both sides. Francisco Corral receiving a red card in the middle portion of the first half for Georgian Court and Lions have had to play a man down the rest of the way. First card issued here in the second half for either side. Play resumes. Whistle, foul on Georgian court, Langer, or the shove from behind. Midway point of the second half, 22 and a half minutes remain. Georgian Court playing better here in the second half, but the clock is not the Lions friend here as they need to get the equalizer. Post trying to salt this match away. 22 minutes left. Rio tried to get it up to Arger and couldn't. Trifonov. Sends it up to Badar Khalid. He loses it. Whistle. Foul on Georgian Court. Ballerin. Trifonov slow to get up. Favoring Here's his left leg. Sanchez taken down, no whistle, play continues. 
Vicente. Sente tried to send it far side to Dawkins. However, a throw in for post. Now under 21 minutes remaining here in regulation. 20, 48 and counting. Throw in for post. Hurtquist. And now Paolini with it, trying to go near. Gets it out to Bedard Khalid. Diaz, his shot blocked away, but Bedard Khalid. His shot off the right upright. Field goal no good. Remains 1-0. Joel Quist checking in once again for Georgian Court, coming on for Luis Silva. See if Quist can provide some of that second half magic that he had on Friday. It's his play. Hopefully, Georgian Court to the win over Wilmington. Whistle on Georgian Court. Under 19 and a half minutes remaining. Paolini, near side. Diaz, being looked at by Tap. Tried to send it towards the net. Flicked away. Corner kick coming up here. Scramble in front. Georgia Court able to get it out momentarily, out of danger. Rio. Taken down by Sanchez. Foul on Sergio Sanchez. Kick coming up. Dawkins to take it. Diaz intercepts that. He's got some space. He's going to send it long. Hickey coming out to challenge it. He'll send it back towards the midfield line. Eighteen minutes, clock running. Post protecting this one nil lead, Georgian Court. Trying to force the issue here and try to get that equalizer. Throw in coming up for Post, Sanchez to take it. Seventeen and a half minutes left. Diaz picked up, 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 picked up.
Apologize for that technical difficulty. 16 minutes even, clock ticking. All that remains in regulation. Whistle on post. Throw in by Tap. <laughs> tap sends it high. Fifteen minutes even, final third of the second half. Sente tried to get it to Quist, could not though. Throw in coming up for Georgian Court. Tap to take it. <laughs> Ballerin to take the throw in for the Lions. Daniel Chuchlinski checking in now for Georgian Court. <coughs> Sky towards the goal, Malenthal up with that. 13 and a half minutes remain now. Alini loses his balance. Georgian Court with the ball now. Dawkins to Rio. Beal with it. Goes far side to Ballerin. Ballerin reverses back. He's going to send it to Hickey. He sends it to the midfield line there. Ardron heads it in. Ball volleyed back and forth right now. Aro Sanchez able to keep it in there. Gendler just lobs it in. Diaz tried to get it, could not. The Dard Khalid cut off there momentarily by Ballerin, but the throw in coming up for post. Teo Gagliardo. I take this throw in for post. Twelve nineteen and counting. Dard Khalid checking out. Played very well in that semifinal win on Friday over Holy Family, scoring twice in the first half. A 2 1 win over the Tigers. Now, under 12 minutes, 11 49 and counting. That one sails over Quiss Head. However, throw in coming up for Georgian Court. Dawkins with the throw in. Dawkins coming up now with another throw in. Gagliardo was slow to get up there for post. Sente reverses it to Langer.
Takedown of Dawkins. It'll be a throw in, excuse me, a kick coming up here for Georgian Court. And that will be Tom Ardrin to take it for the Lions. 10.50 and counting. Stick around following the match for the post-championship award ceremony. Bring the all-tournament team, MVP. And we'll see which of these teams raises the championship trophy and banner. Nice effort there by Ardrin. However, Malenthio able to sky for it above a pack of bodies and prevent the goal there. Approaching the 10 minute mark, time remaining. Rio blocked away there by Balioto. Quist sends Perianelli. To the ground. Whistle on Georgian court. Eight and a half minutes time remaining. Kick coming up for post. Gagliardo take that for the Eagles. Given so the clock stopped right now with 8:12. See if we get an adjustment in time. Yellow card was given. Didn't see it initially. They're going to put 20 seconds back on the clock. So 8:32 remaining. So they're going to add 20 seconds back on. None of us up here saw the yellow card given out. The clock's adjusted. Yeah, those 20 seconds put back on proved to be valuable here for Georgian Court. Every second's going to matter as they try to get that equalizer. See if they can. Approaching the eight minute mark, time remaining. Alloran sends it to Rio. They're just volleyed about right now. Ardrin tried to get it in there. Sent out by post. Sente able to outwork Sanchez. Throw in coming up for post. 
Sergio Sanchez to take it. Seven minutes now left. Beal sends that one wide of Vicente, so Hickey has to come out. We start it for Georgian court. 6.45 remaining, clock ticking. Silva with it now. Looked over there by Herquist. Now picked up by Sanchez. Sanchez able to take it away. Turns that one wide, though, but a throw in coming up for Georgian Court. Langer to take it. six minutes, 5.55 and counting. Perrinelli able to turn back Vicente's charge. Perrinelli taken down though, no whistle. Throw in coming up for Georgian Court Dawkins to take it. Five and a half minutes left. Diaz plays it to an open spot in the field. However, Alvaro Sanchez not able to get over there. Langer will get the throw in. Gets it to Beal. Beal turns it over to Vicente. Vicente going to go long. Quist and Trifonov. Battle for the header there. Post, though. He's temporarily with possession. Keep it in. Diaz. Bedard Khalid with it. Working down the far sideline. It's back to Diaz. However, Vicente able to reverse direction. Docking, or excuse me, Quist with the throw in. Now under four and a half minutes to go. Nicholas Moran just checking in now for Georgian Court. Took that throw in there initially from Quist. Throw in coming up here again. Rio, excuse me, beg your pardon, a kick coming up here. Rio to take it for Georgian Court. Big opportunity here for Georgian Court. However, whistle. And a foul on Georgian Court there to Moran. So now under four minutes, 354 and counting. All that remains between post and potential second straight CACC championship, unless Georgian Court can somehow find the tying marker. Dard Khalid tried to get it to Diaz, could not though. However, post. Able to keep it in. Bedard Kali with it once again. Over now to Diaz. Diaz with some space. Just work around Dawkins and Vicente towards the net. Alvaro Sanchez able to keep it. Possession still to post there. Herquist. No one deflected out, but a throw in coming up for post. Sergio Sanchez to take it. Alvaro Sanchez now with it. He gives it back to Sergio. Sente clears it out of danger for the time being. Approaching two and a half minutes remaining in regulation. One nil post off the goal by Perianelli in the fifth minute. 
Counting for all the scoring here so far this morning. Hickey with that. Throw it up to Rio. Now Langer sends it deep. Balioto. Post still with possession here. Diaz with it. Gets it to Alvaro Sanchez. Sanchez over to Bedard Khalid. Couldn't get a, an attempt off. Now 145 and counting left. Corner kick coming up for Post. 135 and counting. Alvaro Sanchez, his shot, wide, 115 and counting. Approaching the final 60 seconds. Last opportunity here for Georgian Court. Silva, picked up by Alvaro Sanchez. He's going to send it long. Quist tries to head it in deep. He's able to, but Hurtquist there for it for post. But Rio able to intercept that. 48 seconds and counting. Malenthio will collect that as Quist makes his way towards the net there and the post keeper. 36 seconds and counting. Post just needs to place the keep away now. Diaz able to get it up to Perry and Nelly. Picked up there by Langer. Perry Nelly able to work his way around, get it into open space to Diaz. 19 seconds left over to Bedard Khalid. His shot, save Hickey. Beal lifts it up. Dawkins tries to head it forward. 10 seconds left. Bedard Khalid with it. And post back to back. The Eagles, CACC champions. It's all over. Post takes the at-large guessing out of it. They lock up the automatic bid from the CACC to next week's Super Regional. Congratulations to head coach Ted Haley and his program. They had come so close the last several years with Ted Haley's program and we're able to break through, get that big championship win last year against Wilmington, and they do it again this year. Congratulations. We're going to step aside. We'll be back with more. After this on the CACC Network, post the 1-0 win over Georgian Court. Back with the post-championship award ceremony.
ladies and gentlemen. At this time, we ask you to direct your attention to midfield and commissioner Dan Mara for today's CACC Men's Soccer Championship Award ceremony. First, we'd like to recognize this. First, we'd like to recognize this year's runner-up, the Georgian Court Lions. Give a round of applause to Georgian Court. Next, we'd like to honor the 2019 CACC Men's Soccer Championship All Tournament Team. Members of the team who are not in attendance today include Wilmington Abdul Mansaray, Wilmington's Lauren Bickley, Holy Family's Joel Richmond, and Holy Family's Shane Holmes. Now, for members of the team who are in attendance today, for Georgian Court, Jamie Hickey. From Georgian Court, Daniel Vicente. From Georgian Court, Robert Beal. And from, and from Georgian Court, Javel Dawkins. And now from the Post University Eagles. Andrea Belletto. <laughs> From Post University, David Malentio. <laughs> From Post University, Francesco Perianelli. <laughs> From Post University, Felix Hertvist. <laughs> From Post University, Philemon Bedard Khalid. And from Post University, Sergio Diaz. <laughs> Let's give a round of applause for the 2019 CACC Men's Soccer Championship All Tournament Team. Now we would like to honor the most valuable player of the 2000 CA 2019 CACC Men's Soccer Championship from Post University. Sergio Diaz. <laughs> Next, we'd like to recognize the individuals on the 2019 CACC Champion Postmen Soccer Team. When your name is called, please step forward to receive, receive your champion medallion. Number zero, Jordan Brown. Number double zero, Christian Marca Loca. Number one, David Malentio. Number two, Edwin Rosano. Number three, Alvaro Sanchez. Number four, Algasimu Ba. Number five, Mateo Gagliardo. Number six, Aden Gendler. Number seven, Simon Perea Ariola. Number eight, Sergio Sanchez. Number nine, Philemon Bedard Khalid. Number 10, Sergio Diaz. Number 11, Igor Silva. Number 12, Solomon Mahari. Number 13, Andre Nasser. Number 14, Pablo Tenorio. Number 15, Antoine Trifonoff. Number 16, Giorgio Scarpetti. Number 17, Luciano Artaza. Number 18, Frederick Smith. Number 19, Daniel Geyer. Number 20, Anthony Costa. Number 21, Juan Velasquez Alfaro. Number 22, Andrea Balletto. Number 23, Tony Ferrolini. Number 24, Francesco Perinelli. Number 25, Ada Pacheco. Number 26, Fernando Duque. Number 27, Kashane Bedward. Number 28, Richie Dominguez. Number 
29, Samuel Urban. Number 30 is Altine Dos Santos. Number 31, Abraham Jimenez. Number 32, Jet Zolimi. Number 33, Michelle Venditti. Number 35, Leonardo De Graca. Number 36, Gabrielle Carello. Number 37, Nate Moon. Number 38, Javion Adams. Number 39, Giovanni Grant. Number 40, Derek Villar. Number 42, Raul Castro. Number 77, Carl Mabumbo Bo. And number 99, Felix Herkvist. And now for your assistant coaches, Luis Figueroa. R Ryan Dunnigan Christoph Music Enzo Pereira Earl Reed Gabe Goja and your head coach of the Post University Eagles, Ted Haley. Once again, your 2019 champions, Post University Eagles. Once again, congratulations to Ted Haley and his program, the 2019 CACC Men's Soccer Champions. 1-0 win over Georgian Court. Post locking up the automatic bid from the CACC to next weekend's Super Regional Tournament. And I think that table the guys are sitting on is about to break. So Don't worry, the bill will just be sent to Post. Congratulations once again, 2019 champion, Post University Eagles. And we will see if CACC is a two-bid league to the Super Regional next week. As we mentioned, Post definitely in now with the automatic bid from the conference. Wilmington ranked fourth in the most recent Super Regional ranking. And the Wildcats should earn an at-large bid into the Super Regional. We'll see how both teams do. But congratulations once again. We're going to step aside, take a break. Stick around here on the CACC Network. Coming up next, the 2019 CACC Women's Soccer Championship final between top seed of Jefferson and second seed of Georgian Court. That will begin in approximately about 45 minutes from now at uh, right at uh, 2 p.m. So we are scheduled, excuse me, at 1 p.m., I beg your pardon. 1 p.m. we are scheduled for start time then. We will talk to you then right here on the CACC Network. Fans of CACC, thank you for attending this year's men's soccer championship final. Photos from this year's event are available.